Hello, I'm Sarah Stannard, Principal of City College Southampton, and I'm delighted to give you a very warm welcome to this video for the parents and carers of young people who will be joining City College for the first time in the autumn of 2020. Normally, we would have invited you to meet us in college for us to give you useful information and for you to be able to ask us questions. Obviously, that's not possible at the moment, but we hope that this session helps you feel prepared for your child's move to City College in the autumn. And that if you do have any questions at the end of this video, you use the contact details that I'll give you later to get in touch with us. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I hope you find this really informative. To start with, I want to talk about the ways in which college is very different to school. Firstly, we have more students and staff at City College than the typical school does, and our sites are larger. However, I hope you'll be reassured when I say that students quickly learn their way round and settle in. That's because students choose a main subject to study with us, and this means that they develop a strong relationship for the teachers for that department, and the students have a natural home area within the college. For example, if a student is studying business, they will get to know each of the business teachers very well, and there will be a couple of classrooms that they do almost all of their study in. If they choose engineering, they will get to know the engineering team really well, and they will spend a lot of time in the engineering workshops as well as the classrooms. So to start with, students only need to learn their way to a few places, and then as they become more confident, they can explore other areas of the college. In the first few weeks, we do a lot of work with new students to make them feel comfortable in their new surroundings. And this will be particularly important this autumn when we're expecting all students to come to college for part of the week. More on that later. The second way that college is different to school for young people is that it's all about getting ready for their next step to the adult world, whether that's to university or to an apprenticeship or to full-time work. What this means is that we ask students to take responsibility for themselves more and more. We don't ring bells for class times. We expect students to know their timetable and to be in the right place at the right time. We ask students to wear clothing that is appropriate for their course and to use the right personal protective equipment to keep themselves professional and safe. We will send you information about what they need before they join us. We don't have a uniform like school but we ask students to wear a lanyard and a badge with a photo ID on it, so we know that everyone at college is supposed to be here. And as you'll see, all staff wear them themselves, and we have blue lanyards, students have black lanyards, and that enables us all to know who everybody is. We give students lanyards and badges very early on, and they need to bring them and wear them all the time they're at college. And finally, students call staff by their first name, just like they will do at work and in adult life. It's another part of getting prepared for their next step. The third way that college is different to school is that every young person is following a study programme. Study programmes are the national name for what students study between the ages of 16 and 18, whether they are doing A-levels or a professional and technical programme and whichever college they are at. Study programmes are made up of three elements. The main qualification that each student has chosen, two examples are health and social care or plumbing, and the other elements are English and maths and work experience. The good thing about study programmes is that we can enter students at a level which enables them to succeed. Having interviewed everybody and discussed with them what they've chosen, we expect every student who joins us to be capable of achieving the course successfully that they've applied for. When GCSE results come out, we will check what grades have been achieved. We do this to make sure people are on the right course. If your child does better or worse than was predicted, don't worry, just talk to us. We can advise students on what their options are. If it's slightly worse than you were expecting, it might just mean that it will take a year longer to achieve their end goal, but that is not a barrier to your child achieving what they want. If your child has changed their mind about what they do altogether, just get in touch with admissions. The email address will be at the end and we can give you a call and discuss the options. And if someone starts the course, and in the first few weeks they're not enjoying it. Don't suffer through a whole year silently. Come and tell us that you've changed your mind and we can help students think about their choices. There is time to change your mind at the start of the year. And students can talk to their teacher or to our expert futures team who will help them. The second part of the study programme is English and Maths. This is for everyone because English and Maths are such key skills for your whole life. 
For students who achieve a four or higher in their GCSE, then English and Maths are incorporated into their main qualification and they will have a chance to learn how to apply what they know to their course. Students who achieve a three or a two will continue to study GCSE to try and improve their grade. Students who achieved a one will study functional skills, which is a stepping stone qualification. Our focus is on helping all our students be more confident in using English and maths in everyday life and in their studies. What we really want is for students to be able to recognise that they are making progress. And we know from listening to our students' feedback that this happens, that they do recognise that by the end of the year, they can say, I've enjoyed English and maths more than I did at school, and I know that I have made progress through the year. The third part of the study programme is work experience. This is a great strength for City College. We work with hundreds of employers every year, and they are really keen to work with our students to help them be work ready and to understand what they need to do to have a successful career. All students will do work focused projects. They will also go on trips to workplaces and hear speakers from industry. Students on level two and three courses will do at least a week of work experience, or for some students, up to 50 days placement with an employer. In normal times, this would definitely be going out to an employer's workplace, but this year it will be virtual to start with. Companies are working hard on creating virtual work experience programmes for students, so we are confident that this year's students will have a good experience to help them prepare for their next steps. From the start of their programme, we talk to students about their goals for the future. Our aim is that all of our students have a positive next step, either to higher study, or to an apprenticeship, or to full-time work. Our teachers have all worked in the sectors and jobs that they now teach, so they can share their expert knowledge with their students and our specialist futures team will give each student advice and support on their next step. You can be confident that we will actively work with your child to help them think about and plan for their future. I also want to mention the services and support we have for students. If your son or daughter receives learning support at school or has a learning difficulty, do tell us about it. Hopefully that already happened at their interview, but if you're not sure and you want to discuss what support is available, then please let us know and we will arrange for the right person to speak to you. We are very used to supporting students and it is very effective in helping them to achieve their qualifications and ambitions. The sooner we know, the more we can help. We also have a team of pastoral support and student engagement officers. They provide emotional support and practical advice to students who need it and also work with young people who are not attending as expected. We expect all of our students to attend for 100% of their timetable and we actively follow up with students and families if this is not happening to try and resolve any issues. We are very keen on attendance because we know that students who attend pass their qualifications and those who don't attend will struggle. Finally, we also offer financial support to students from households with lower incomes. We offer a mixed support for equipment needed for the course, free college meals and travel. We will send the information on financial support out with the joining instructions. Do then get in touch if you want more detail. And my last section, what's going to happen over the summer? You should already know that we emailed all applicants in early June with a summer project for them to do. If your son or daughter has not done it yet, then you will find this information on our website. These activities should help them think about the course they have chosen and will help them prepare. At the end of July, we will write to all applicants with instructions about joining the college in the autumn. The first step will be for your child to confirm GCSE results with us. The letter will tell them how to do this. As you can tell from what I've just said, it's vital that we have up-to-date contact details for your child and for you. Please let us know if email addresses, physical addresses or phone numbers change. Then, term will start for study programme students, the week beginning the 7th of September. Like other Southampton colleges, we are planning to have all of our students in college for the autumn term and to run as normal a timetable as possible. After so many months out of school, we know how important it will be for students to be at college. As you'd expect, we will have lots of measures in place to keep students safe and to enable them to settle into their new courses at college. We will share more information with you at the end of the summer and keep you fully informed. We look forward to welcoming your child at college in September. I hope that in this short video, I've given you the information that you need about your son or daughter starting at City College in September. 
We really look forward to seeing them in the autumn and having a great year together. If you have any questions between now and then starting, please do get in touch with the contact details that are here. We look forward to seeing them.